So now I'm going to change the lens and uh, try the next one I have, which is a 12 millimeter. Uh, after the 16, you can see I have a number of these that run down in, in size. So I'll go ahead and, and try this and see what it looks like. The sequence will be to take it in, use, connect it to the TV to get it to focus, button it up, take it outside, try and take some pictures outside to be able to compare with uh, the previous results. So I want to open up the plant cam and uh, check the filter configuration and see about replacing the existing lens with one of these alternate ones that I'm exploring uh, using the little visible Mobius instead of this one. So as I've got the screws loosened, I realize I need to break this little seal of assurance on the action cam. I hadn't noticed that on the other one. The action cam opened up quite handily, exposing the lens and sensor assembly here at the front. And this lens assembly came out quite nicely. Didn't have the uh, sticking problem that I did with the previous version on the visible camera. However, the thing that is quite clear is that the uh, the filter material is uh, is in the lens assembly. Looks like I'll have to see how difficult that will be to remove. Uh, but fortunately, I think I've got a quite a good inventory of the Rattan 25 to replace it with if I damage it. The filter material at the uh, back of the lens yielded to removal simply by careful placement of the tip of the X-Acto blade. And it appeared perhaps it had been tacked with glue in two spots, I'm not sure. Um, perhaps others will remember exactly how that was done. But it's out and perhaps not damaged. We'll see if I can place it in one of the other lenses. Rather than try and uh, reuse the circular piece of filter material and, ha and provide more flexibility. I think I'll take the tack that others, Chris Fasti and Matthew Lippincott, have suggested about just placing a piece of the filter material in directly in this little housing uh, ahead of the sensor. So I've got some rattan uh, filter material here. I'll, I'll see about getting a piece of that. cut to size to place in there. I'm not sure I've got this size just right, but it's quite close here, so I'll see if I've got any more trimming to fit this into this little opening and then button it back up. Hopefully that'll give us an alternative to the individual lenses having to have the round uh, uh, piece of filter material. So I'll go check the imagery, but I was initially pretty pleased at uh, the kind of uh, stuff that was coming out of it, so I think that this uh, Replacing the standard fisheye lens with the, this 8mm lens looks like a reasonable kind of a first stab at uh, getting the plant cam to deliver a flat image as opposed to a fisheye.